short video on convert binary number and a linked list to integer. For this problem, we're dealing with a linked list and essentially we have to convert. So this, there is a number that's associated with a linked list where every node represents a digit in the linked list and we have to convert that representation of that number into an integer. So we, for instance, we have a few examples here. We have head where uh, equals 101. So that head is just the linked list. And when we convert it, it should be 5. Why is this? Because if we take the binary representation, so if we connect the numbers together, 101, it'll be 101. And convert that into base 10, it's 5. Because you see, uh, yeah, yeah, if you convert that and the same will be for the rest, no matter how big you get, you have to convert this whole big number um, into, just imagine that this is just a number, and then you convert that binary number into a decimal number. Um, and if you convert head uh, here is zero, zero, that's just zero, so convert to zero. Um, so let's go ahead and try to understand this problem a little bit more in depth. Um, but what we're working here is not, this looks like an array, but it actually is not an array. It is something that is called a linked list. So what exactly is a linked list? A linked list is essentially where you have um, you have a list, right? Um, it's You could kind of think, it's kind of like an a, array, which is a, a, a type of a list, or array list is a type of a list. A linked list is another type of one of those lists as well. But what makes this list different than other lists? Well, for this list, essentially what is different is that um, you have you can only access one node at a time um, so when you're traversing through a, a linked list if, if it's a singly linked list meaning that you have a linked list and uh, each of the values go from one and one one to the next um, like see what we have here um, you have nodes connecting to one another and if you um, say let's start from from here one right if we um, we start with one uh, right now currently we're only seeing uh, one we don't necessarily have access to the other ones for now um, but we can right now we can access two things so a node is made up of two values one of them is the actual val or a val is the current um, a value or a thing that's associated in that specific position. So for instance, when you have a, an array, you have indices that are filled up with different values, whether they be strings, or whether they be arrays, or whether they be booleans, they can be filled with anything. And that's the same thing for a linked list. They could be associated with different values uh, or different types of values. Um, and as well, when you are currently at a node, you have something uh, which is called a next. A next is what does, it's what, essentially makes a linked list a linked list. What do I mean by that? Well, a linked list, there are nodes that are linked with one another. And if you want to you want to go to the next node, you need to look to the next variable and then get that node. Uh, and then you can access that node by calling the next node for that node, essentially. So you go to the next one. So for instance, if we were to call, if we were, so right now, let's say this is our node, right? Let's say this is a node. Uh, if we want to go to the next one, we would do, and this would this would be node dot next. And if we want to go to this one, from this perspective, we do node dot next dot next. So that's essentially how a linked list works. And essentially for this problem, our main thing that we have to do is traverse through the linked list um, and be able to um, find the whole number and just convert that essentially, which can be done with a library depending on what language that you're using. So um, yeah, so let's maybe just, so now that we understand how a linked list works, let's maybe uh, discuss an approach to this problem. So. Like I mentioned before, we can traverse to a linked list. We have access to the current val and the next. Um, so what we can do is, uh, what might be useful is, so we want to be able to con 
we need to be able to convert whatever this number is into an integer. So, or to more precisely to a decimal value. So we need to somehow connect up all of the individual nodes into one big node. So essentially we'll be concatenating those together. And what's a perfect way to concatenate those together? Well, what we can use is every time that we're currently on a node, we can put those together in a string value. And we can add those in, in terms of a string. Um, so what we could do here is um, S, where S is a string. So let's do our pseudocode here. S is equivalent to an empty string, right? Um, and what we'll do is while head, so no, not equal. is not null. This is, we're, we're coding the pseudocode right now. So while the head is not null, what does this mean, right? Well, when we get to, when we have this linked list, say we get to the end of the list, what's, what is the next value once if you call head.next for the, the last value? Well, essentially that would be, um, that, that would be, it would be null because there's nothing after that. So if you're trying to traverse through a whole linked list, you need to go until the value is null, in a sense, in essence. So let's, so we'll go until the head is null. And from there, yeah, so we'll be getting, we'll be going through the whole linked list. Um, and from here, we can keep adding, so we gotta have our head, and whatever the S plus, so adding onto the string, right? Getting all the values for the string, what we can do is we just add whatever the value that the head is at that specific point. Like for instance, if we're here, we want to add one to the string. So we add one, then we could add a zero and then one because we're trying to connect all the numbers together again. Um, and then we could do, so to move to the, the next value, uh, we do, That's essentially moving the linked list from node to node so that we don't ever sort of, yeah, we could just keep going through the whole list. Um, and therefore, when we do that, um, we'll be able to traverse through the whole linked list. Um, and from there, we'll, we can, based on whatever library you're using for a specific function, uh, there should be some sort of way to convert from a string to uh, sorry, from, yeah, from whatever number that you have into the decimal representation. So just decimal, decimal of whatever S was. And that should be your answer. So let's go ahead now and code this up. Um, and let's see what we got. So let's do, so I said that string, string S, is an empty string and i'm coding in java by the way you can code this up in any other language that you prefer but this is just the language that i'm coding up up right now so we do that while head not equal to null you have num you concatenate whatever the value is at that specific node and you move on with the node And yeah, so then by doing this, you will have concatenated the whole uh, string of all of the individual values from you, from the linked list into one big string. And in Java, what you can do is if you want to convert a binary string um, into a decimal, all you have to do is integer not value of uh, the number or string. Uh, which I also wrote here, it's just BS, um, to the power of two. And that will get you the result that you want. Let's run it real quick. Submit. Perfect. It works exactly as expected. Yeah. Thank you all so much for uh, watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to like it and uh, give it a thumbs up.
and comment on the um, comment section below what you think and make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, follow us you know at, um, be a part of our discord if you want to get more help for solutions uh, and problems like these and if you want to get better at programming in general thank you so much